Hey everyone, Marinus here. Uh, this video is going to be a brief introduction uh, looking at the Synth Mapping Helper's uh, Python tool, uh, which is super, super useful. Um, you, you definitely want to check it out. So first thing, you're going to need Python, uh, which is available just in the Microsoft Store. You can type in Python and Windows, it'll pop up, uh, get the latest version. That's easy. And uh, you can get the tool, the Synth Mapping Helper tool uh, from Gohitis' uh, uh, GitHub page. Um, it'll it'll pop right up. Here's the address uh, you can see here. Um, so the code, if you've never used GitHub, not a uh, big deal. It basically, you know, the, his code will install and run itself. Um, has a really helpful uh, wiki here with all the information you need to use it. Um, and hopefully this video will help you get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, download these uh, Windows helpers. Um, that's really all you need. Uh, this install bat, all you need to do is run that install bat and uh, it should automatically download the uh, the code from GitHub, put it, install it. It's going to hide it in a uh, folder you'll uh, uh, probably never find, so you're going to want to take this Windows Helpers folder, download this separate, and then save it uh, on your computer somewhere where you can get to it easy. So. Once you have that, we are ready to start using it. So here's a map I'm uh, working on right now. In this particular case, I had these two uh, overhead rails going back and forth, and then we have some guitars kick in here. And I wanted to spike this, like uh, do a buzz rail here for emphasis. Now the first draft through here, I'm like, man, too much effort. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to sit there and you know spend 20 minutes doing it. Um, so I put in some, um, you know, some square tunnels, uh, put in some dots, but it's not it's not really working. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to buzz it. I'm going to show you how to use these tools to, to really easy make a buzz rail. So uh, first thing I'm going to need to do is split this rail up because I don't want to have to remap the entire rail. So I'm going to leave this first note and I'm going to delete all these others because I no longer need those. And they will just map mess the script up. So um, the script I'm going to use now is the uh, split rail script, um, which will take a rail and it will split it wherever there's a node. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that red rail. Get out of the end. And I've now copied that. And I'm going to run over and I'm going to use the, uh, where is it, the split rails uh, text. So split rails is really simple. It's just this one command line split rails. Um, and the way you use these uh, Windows helpers, you see all the different text files there. You, you put the commands you want in the text file and then you literally take it um, and you drag and drop it to this uh, smh.bat. Uh, and you can't see if there's a command line prompt uh, popped up in my uh, main window uh, running that script. And what it does is it changes what was in um, the Windows clipboard. So now I can hit V or Control V, and it pastes the transform section. So we'll go through here, and now you can see uh, from the angle that it did indeed change that rail. Like we can move, uh, we can move this one to the side so you can see it easier. Uh, but it moved that rail. So um, now that we have that rail separate. We can specify it. Now he calls it specify. Usually we say buzz it, but um, so I'm going to hit Control C. I'm uh, copying. And uh, by the way, I I did uh, filter out, so I'm just doing left-handed notes right now, um, which I have mapped on red. So we Control C that, and now we want to specify it. Now specify is a little bit more complicated. Um, it's using a a different combination of terms. Now these terms, uh, these commands can be used in just about any different fashion. Um, the text files here are the ones Gohitis has come up with as examples. Uh, in this case I added the user original to it uh, which will keep the the file that you copy pasted so that you don't need to keep going back and copy pasting it every time. So um, this one is, uh, I've changed this a little bit. Um, uh, the default will do it you know, up and down spikes every quarter beat. Uh, this one will actually do a bit of a spiral. So I'm going to take that specify and I drag and drop it to smh.bat. It runs the script, and now when I paste it, boom, we got our spiky rail. 
Um, now you can play with the settings. You can do whatever you want. Maybe, uh, I mean, that I think looks pretty cool with the spiral. Yeah, maybe we don't want it to really look like this. Maybe we uh, want it to be a bit more jagged. So let's, uh, let's go, not 45, let's go with 5. And we'll change, make that things change it. Come back. Control Z to undo it. Run Specify again. And boom, now we have our other script, and now it's uh, every five. So um, you can play with that if you want. But, you know, as I was doing this, like, I, I don't think I actually want to, uh, to do this as a buzz rail. I think I want to do this as a tight spiral because I think it will work on the map, which is a good example to show you another f uh, feature here, um, which is spiralize. So spiralize will take any arbitrary rail and will map a spiral around it which is a very cool effect and way easier than trying to do it yourself and way cleaner um, so another quick note here anytime you put the uh, the pound symbol the hashtag in front of one of these lines it basically comments it out um, if you put multiple lines in here it will run every single line sequentially so you can do some some complicated things like that in this case these are just different iterations. So I'm going to start off with this one uh, just to show you all what's going on. So let me go back and copy and paste again to make sure I didn't lose that. And I'm going to hit spiralize, smh.bat, and paste it. And now you can see it's mapped this little spiral around there, which is just, <laughs> that's just a cool effect. Go ahead and play that. So, um, I mean, I'm not going to keep that. That's too big of a spiral for this too fast, but just a, a good example of what you can do. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is change that, save, Control Z, and I'm going to run spiral as again. And Control V. Now, this is a much tighter spiral, it's a lot shorter. Um, it looks like a hot mess here in the editor. I think it's going to look pretty good. Um, oops, everything changed. I think it's going to look pretty good in game. It's going to look probably something like that in game. Um, going really fast, and you'll go right down the middle. So I think that'll work well. If it does, you know, you'll have a chance to play it in game. Um, so now that we have that mapped, we need to rejoin them. I'm going to go back to default. I'll go back to the rails, control Z, go through them, copy it all, and I'm going to run the merge rails. So the merge rails, again, just one command, merge rails, uh, drag and drop that to smh.bat, run that, and now I can go back to that first rail, control V, and now it is a, whoops, not what I wanted to do because I forgot to move I moved this and I forgot to move it back problem with returns all right so now we can so I have copied that to the clipboard merge rails And that still didn't because it was offset a little bit at the start. But anyway, um, I mean, I could uh, actually copy that now. Oops, wrong one. Hold and control. I can just move the start. Uh, which you kind of have to do with the spiralize. I've noticed that sometimes when you spiralize the, uh, uh, the first jump because it goes from wherever you put that original note on the original rail and we'll have a really harsh jump to this the the, uh, the start of wherever it put the new rail so you'll need to manually move that um, which is exactly what I did here and so copying that again and hit merge rails and paste and now it is a single rail. So we can tell because if I take it and drag it down three, it moved everything down three. So 
Um, so in game, we won't get an end rail symbol here. It'll simply roll right in and hopefully that will be a nice cool effect. I'm looking forward to going up and play test that and I'll probably be releasing this map in a day or two. So hope that helped. Hope that was enjoyable and there's lots of other stuff to play with. Like for instance, the, this wall art that you see here. Um, I use the uh, the spiralize with walls uh, to do that. Um, basically I just made a left angle wall, copied it to the clipboard, and then played with the numbers. Uh, these I, I mapped uh, just regularly. Um, and these on the side here, uh, these I also use the spiralize with wall script to make it. Um, which is, you know, again, super, super useful. Um, all sorts of stuff. So, all right, well, I hope this helped. Happy mapping, everyone.